Hey everyone, Hrithik here from Clientrix CRM Consulting and welcome back to the another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to create expenses and invoices inside Zoho Inventory. So let's get started. So right now we are into the homepage of Zoho Inventory. So in order to create an invoice, first we need to go to sales. Under sales, you will see the option of invoices. Simply click our invoices. And as you can see, it's time to get paid. So we will create our first invoice. So first thing we need to do, we need to add a customer. So I have already created a customer in Zoho Inventory. So if you guys didn't check that video, like how to create uh, customers and vendors in Zoho Inventory. So please do check out my previous videos in which I have explained how to add these. So we'll select our customer. And after that, there are some mandatory information which you needed to fill like uh, in invoice data and all. And here you can, if you had any salesperson, you can add, add it here. Right now, I don't have any salesperson, so but this is not mandatory, this is optional. And here you can add a subject, like what could be subject. So I will name it as invoice for goods. Here you can select a warehouse. So I have set up a warehouse, pitch perfect roofing. And then you need to select items. One is apples. And second one, I will say fruit basket. So, yeah, as you can see, now my subtotal is $40. So, after that, you can also like uh, write customer notes and terms and conditions, like if you had any. So, you can add it as well. After that, you can also set up your payment gateways in order to get uh, quicker payments. So, you can, you know, simply uh, if you use PayPal, credit card, debit cards, any kind of, you know, uh, payment gateways so you can set it up with Zoho inventory and the, the customer can pay, pay it through there so you can also set up your payment gateways through here and after that once you have you know completed all the uh, things added all the fields into the invoices you can so simply save it as a draft or you can save send it directly to the customer so this invoice will be sent to the customer under the same way so for some companies like uh, if you wanted to approve it first you can just save it as a draft and here you will you know submit for approval so you can you and your subordinates or any your senior can just simply review this invoice and submit for approval so once you know you have submitted this uh, invoice for approval someone from your team can just simply approve it and once it get approved the invoice so it has both methods like either you can you know go through the approval system or you can just simply directly send it as well through this button and once the uh, invoice has been approved, you can just simply send the invoice through here. And here you can see, so it's just simple email and all the emails you can, you know, simply write it through here. Like this is the customer name and you can make payment for you can, so you can edit this data according to your convenience. So just simply click on send. And from here you can see the invoice has been sent. So it has been sent to the customer. So as you can see, this is the kind of email the customer will receive regarding the invoicing. So if I'll click on this. So this is a kind of email. And so I can just simply pay it through this link and attach is this the PDF. So this is how it looks like. So that's how you can pay invoices. And apart from that, if you wanted to you know create expenses so for this you have to go under purchases just simply click on expenses and here just simply click on record expense so this is a little bit similar but uh, like a little bit different as well so here you have to select your category like forward the expenses so i will say mark it as cost of goods sold amount i can mark it as dollars who is the vendor so we have to select vendor here as well and notes and the customer name so all this information we do have to select and here you have to others check like if it is billable or not so i will mark it up by 20 percent so we have to just save it so yeah that's how easily you know you can create expenses in joint inventory as well so this is the expense 
so you can also convert it to an invoice if you want or if you just simply wanted to you know take it uh, download it print it as a pdf so you can also download it as save as a pdf and then send it to your uh, like the vendors so yeah that's how easily you can create uh, you know invoices and expenses in zoho inventory apart from that if you're looking for any tailor guidance in order to select the right software solution for your business please do not hesitate to book a free consultation call with our team you will find the link into the description and also please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video and that's it for today and i will see you guys in the next video bye everyone